Is Carl the weakest brawler in the game? I've seen some good arguments saying that he's the weakest. I've also seen some arguments saying that he's not. So uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Carl and uh, the buffs that I think that he needs. Because I think the one thing most people can agree on is that he needs some sort of buff. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carl Stein and it is time to brawl and today we're going to talk about Carly. Carl. We're gonna talk about Carl. As a lot of you guys may have guessed, I have been playing Carl quite a bit. No, I do not have him completely maxed out. I have been playing him without his star power for a reason. I wanted to know if he was actually good without his star power. Now this clip right here, you'll see that he is attacking. On the top, we've got him with his star power, and on the bottom, we got him without his star power. Now this right here is the two box challenge, and basically how it works out is each Carl with and without the star power have uh, two boxes that they have to take out and we see how long it takes for the non-star power brawler to uh, take out that box. Basically, by the time the non-star power Carl throws his last attack, the star power Carl has already taken out his second box. What's really important to realize though is that this is through auto-aim, like no time lost at all. Most of the time, Carl is not going to be auto-aiming all of these shots this frequently and the change in damage per second isn't actually going to have a really big impact on it. So I would say that his star power, while you could theoretically argue that it does increase his damage per second in practice actually playing in game his star power does nothing to increase his uh, damage per second however it does make it so that it is more difficult for enemy brawlers to escape the attack and for Carl to actually land some hits and that that is a very important thing. Now I've done a lot of research for today's video regarding whether or not Carl is actually OP because I wanted to bring a lot of different points to the table. And then I'm gonna talk about how I actually think Carl should be buffed, okay? So, is Carl OP? No, he is absolutely not. I haven't heard a single person arguing that he's OP. Now for those of you guys that are saying that I argued that he was OP, no, I did not ever argue that he was OP. I argued that he would actually shift and change a little bit of the meta, specifically as a counter to squishy long range brawlers like Penny, Jesse, and even Piper. Where Carl's really weak right now, I don't think that that will actually happen any longer, but once he does get buffed so that he's actually decent, I actually do still see that happening. But it's very obvious that Carl is not OP by any means. I think that the biggest issue is that it's so difficult for Carl to actually land any of his hits. He kind of, to me, feels like a very low impact brawler where he has so much HP that he can just like survive for a super long time, which is really great, but he doesn't actually offer very much threat value. Um, because it's really easy for you to dodge your shots, uh, dodge his shots, you just gotta keep your distance, you move left and right, whatever, like it's really easy. And what I think is the worst or the most frustrating part about Carl is that um, he, without his star power, he feels incomplete. You feel, it feels frustrating to play him. And now there definitely is the argument saying that he is a high skill cap brawler. And I totally agree with that. I really do think that he is a high skill cap brawler. There's a lot of different things to pay attention to, like walls and using walls to deal extra damage, which is actually a lot more situational and difficult than I originally thought it was going to be. And then you also have the fact that you can throw his attack one way and then move in a different direction so that it actually like shapes the way that the, the projectile moves. And you can you can use utilize that in a lot of different ways. There's also a lot of like, you have to know when to use his super and when not to use his super, and which brawlers you can and cannot or should and should not use his super against and the fact that he is a very high skill cap brawler the fact that he's just barely released and I'm literally making this video on day one of his release I think that a lot of people that are saying that he's like the weakest brawler in the game I think that we'll realize that that's actually like not the case I think that you just need to learn how to play him but on top of that there's also something to be said about also people learning how to play against him the thing with Carl is that it is easier to play against the Carl than it is to play as Carl and I have no issue with that I love high skill cap brawlers being in the game, but I want the the additional skill that is required to play a specific brawler to be rewarded um, equally, if not more, based off of your ability to actually pull really cool things off. I think that Gene is a really good example of this, where it's not super easy for you to actually land your super on enemy brawlers, but if you do, the reward can be absolutely outstanding, especially like in uh, Brawl Ball or even Gem Grab. Now with his star power, I haven't maxed Carl out on purpose so that I could actually experience a little bit about what it is like to play without his star power. 
And uh, with his star power, I think that he, because I have played it with, it with his star power on, in like friendly matches and then also um, against bots on the dev build. I've played Carl a ton on the dev build, so there's a lot of experience that, uh, that way. And going to the star power, the star power feels a lot better. It's not as difficult for you to um, miss your shots because um, that's very detrimental to Carl is because it takes so long to reload your shot or to be able, not to reload your shot. He actually has a fast shot reload speed, but it takes a really long time for you to use another attack. And with his star power, he still feels a little underwhelming, honestly. Not the weakest brawler in the game. I think that that is arguably like Shelly or Piper, but certainly not uh, balanced or even one of the stronger brawlers. Now, I don't think that Carl is useless without his star power, like my thumbnail on today's video might have suggested. Just to give you guys an idea, today I was playing in Heist, okay, with randoms. And no joke, I had an 18 win streak with randoms. Now, this wasn't 500 level gameplay. This wasn't against uh, other max players or anything like that. My Carl was not maxed out, but it was level nine. And typically most of the time I was facing like a little fives and sixes. So I certainly was a little stronger on the stronger side, like my brawler was. But for us to have an 18 win streak with randoms and not the same people either. It's not like I got lucky with the randoms and hit play again over and over again, over again with them, though I did play with a few of them several times. But I played with several different players and did get 18 straight wins without his star power. So it can be useful, but still I think that he needs some type of a buff, okay? Uh, this is coming from a few different, actually, sources. Like, I've done a lot of research, discussed this with quite a few people. I brought my tier list collaborators together and started discussing some things. In fact, I actually had them vote on a scale of 1 to 5 how strong they think Carl is. The vast majority of them said 2, that he is uh, on the weak side than it, and that he needs some type of a buff. I had, like, 2 people say that he was balanced, and then I had, like, two or three people say that he was one of the weakest in the game and he needs a massive buff. But most of them just agree that he needs just some change to make him a little bit more viable. In discussion for the tier list regarding where Carl should actually be, be placed, most of the game modes that he's actually being scored on is either in the B tier or in the F tier. So he's certainly not one of the strongest brawlers in the game and certainly not like a, a competitive option that you would want to choose very frequently. One person that was actually really good to talk to was actually Ark. For those of you guys that do not know Ark, Ark is a day one beta player of Brawl Stars he streams on YouTube, he streams on Twitch, he has a fantastic YouTube channel, and he is currently, at the time I am making this video, he is currently the number two Carl in the world. He was planning on pushing Carl up 800 trophies in the first day, and when I was talking to him, he was at like 775 or something like that. He's probably at 800 now as I'm recording this, actually. When he picked up Carl, he thought that Carl was totally useless. He thought he was just the worst, um, and <laughs> was pretty awful. Uh, after playing with him and having some time to actually test some different comps with him, Ark says that even though he's been able to push him so fast, that's just been actually because <laughs> of the specific brawler comp that they selected and the fact that he's playing with some really skilled players. Also, Ark is a really skilled player. You guys really need to go check him out because he's super good at the game. I think his total trophies is like 13,000 or something like that. I'll actually put a, a matchup right here for you to see that I recorded while Ark was actually pushing Carl. And it's interesting because he actually chose to pick Carl as the gem carrier in gem grab. And he went with the gem carrier. A lot of people think that the gem carrier role is like the most important. It's actually one of the least important roles in gem grab because the gem carrier basically has to, I mean, you have to survive. Um, but a gem carrier can rely on two people that are really good on the sides to actually keep the whole enemy team completely pushed back. And that can allow a lot of brawlers to actually do well in the middle, even though they wouldn't technically be really good gem carriers. And Carl's not to say, and I'm not saying that Ark wasn't great as playing Carl, because he absolutely was. There's a reason why he was able to push so fast and so high up there. But the big reason why he's able to push so hard is because Carl pairs very well with Jean. Once you have enough gems on the ground, you just kind of play defensively until Jean can actually use his super to pull that gem carrier onto your side. And then Carl uses his super, and between Jean and Carl, they can just take out anybody no matter how many, how much HP they have. And so that's actually a really important thing. And then they also went, they kind of bounced back and forth between Nita um, and uh, Spike um, on the other side, who is just, both of them are really great at pushing the enemy team back. And that's just kind of, this is a couple of the reasons why Carl actually was able to work so well with that specific team comp. Make sure, if you guys are wanting more information on how to actually play Carl and, and push him, and you're wanting some more practical knowledge, then absolutely check out 
Ark's channel because I believe that he's going to be doing a video on that. So you guys want to check that out. Now we've talked a lot about like justification as to why I think that Curl needs to be buffed, but we haven't really quite talked about how I think he needs to be buffed. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with what I think is the best way to buff Carl, and then we'll move on to some other ideas that could actually influence him. First off, I think that star power Carl needs to become regular Carl, and then he needs to get a new star power. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really sad because yeah, not playing with his star power is very frustrating. It's very slow. It feels very punishing, and that's not fun, right? Ideally, every single brawler is going to be a ton of fun to play in their own specific way. You want each brawler to feel very strong in the right situation, and uh, that's a great way to balance the game, and that's really fun and enjoyable. Well, Carl just does not feel like that right now. He just feels frustrating without a star power. So I think that he needs to have a faster um, attack speed so that it's easier for him to actually hit his shots on enemy players. As for his star power, there's a few different things that I think they could do. I wanna, what, the first thing that I think of is that uh, I don't want his star power to become the same as Daryl's, like where he gets like shielded. Like he already has a ton of HP. He has more HP than Daryl does. That's an option and it certainly is, but I wouldn't want him to become a copy of Daryl. You know what I mean? Like that's boring. And I also wouldn't want him to get a speed buff like Leon's star power. Instead, I think that it should actually increase the duration of his star power or it should actually increase the number of ticks of damage that he can deal with his star power, so it will actually deal damage more frequently. Another way you could buff him is by actually increasing his, his movement speed, okay? And the reason why you might suggest doing this, um, I think this is like, kind of like borderline not the best idea because it might make him just like straight up OP because movement speed is actually a really big factor in the game, but just an idea, throwing it out there, that way he could actually like shape the way that he actually moves um, his attack like he can throw it behind a wall and then he'll have more movement speed so that he can actually like attack all the way around the wall um, by moving in the, in the right order or something like that another idea is to make it so that his regular attack um, doesn't get blocked by walls as much so that it can like actually like attack around the wall like you kind of know how Nita's attack can actually attack around the wall I think you guys get what I'm trying to say here a different way they could actually buff him is to like <laughs> If you're going to leave his attack to be so incredibly slow, maybe increase the width of his attack. Increase it so that it's like way slow, but it's like this wave that like, okay, I can't avoid that. Like that's going to hit me if I'm within range because it's just like, you know what I mean? Like obviously you don't want it to be so wide that you can't avoid it, but make it so that it's less avoidable than it currently is right now. Really when it comes down to it, there's a lot of different ways to buff Carl, and I'm sure that Supercell will be thinking of a lot of different interesting ways to buff him. I would be curious to know what you guys think is a fun way to actually buff Carl to make him not OP, but just like a little bit more competitive and a fun way to make it so that it's not so frustrating to play him. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I, I've i got to say, I love having this new brawler. I think it's super fun. I love that he's totally different than any of the past brawlers that Supercell has ever released. And I'm really excited to see what they do to make him a little bit more viable. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.